A Christian pastor and supposed former Navy SEAL has been caught lying not only about being a former Navy SEAL, but also about a supposed black robber that victimized him. Raw Story is reporting that a U.S. Army veteran noticed a curious thing at a recent convocation event at Jerry Falwell's notorious Liberty University. A graying man was wearing military dress uniform and badges that indicate what seemed like an impossible accumulation of achievements and commendations. The man identified himself as Mark Jostin, according to the friendly atheist. Jostin had insignia on his uniform identifying him as a Navy SEAL with four Purple Hearts Lewis, an Afghanistan and Iraq veteran, and a rear admiral for special operations. Turns out that those unbelievable achievements were literally unbelievable. The man was none of those things. His name was also not Mark Jostin. He's actually Christian pastor George Hundley of Louisa, Virginia, who earlier this year was arrested for fal falsely reporting to police that he was robbed and shot by a black man. I, you, you, this stuff just writes itself, right? Veterans immediately detected inconsistencies in his story. He had the Navy Cross. Uh, the Navy Cross is something that uh, only a dozen or so people have earned the Navy Cross during the war on terror. It just didn't make any sense. Also, there were uh, other than just a few unidentified Navy SEALs from the war on terror. They're all known. Right. And this guy wasn't one of those known Navy SEALs from the war on terror. I mean, just none of it made any sense, Lewis. Here's video of someone confronting the guy. I do warn you, it is cringeworthy. Prepare yourselves, brace yourselves. Let's take a look, Lewis. So can you tell me you're a Navy SEAL with what well, he is four purple hearts, a Navy Cross, Silver Star, Bronze Star, yep, Afghanistan, Iraq, one tour in each of the One Canada. tour in each. That's right. Sir, what was your name again? Mark Jostin. Mark Jostin. Sir. Jostin. Like the ring, Mark Johnston. Okay, and you're rear admiral. Rear admiral. For the CIA special operation. What yes, was it? Special operations division. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. I read actually that he was also in the Vietnam War. He was on SEAL Team Six, and he was the director of photography for The Godfather. Uh, Dave, you may find this hard to believe, but this is all much more believable when I tell you that this is actually James Bond. <laughs> uh, I, I found out it's it's pretty incredible. You can look at this guy and know that this is all fake. I mean, when you see the video and you see he's just got this impossible stack of metals, that's just this, this. It's a combination that anyone with any military knowledge would know is impossible. Don't worry, though. This is a man of God. He's pro family. I'm sure anti-abortion. And if we're lucky, he's anti-gay. So we don't really have to worry about his uh, uh, race, racially tinged lies to law enforcement and his complete deception about his faked military past. I don't even understand what the point of this is. I, I, I watched the video. Dave, yeah. I think this guy might be mentally ill. I'm not kidding. In it's, what way, though? It, it just seems like he's he's not he, he's not there. It, it seems like there's something very wrong. We could uh, say that the uh, the wheel is spinning, but the hamster is dead. That that sounds like it could be accurate. Yeah, he is I, a I, proud Christian, though, Lewis. And I mean, Christians are being persecuted in the United States. So, you know, America, America, let's leave it there.